Hip Story. Hip Story. You're smoking? Don't ask questions you know the answer to. You know what work does to What me. work does for you or what you do for work? There we go. Prisons pierce peace pillaging people postpartum. What does that mean? Prisons Why pierce do you peace do this pillaging people postpartum. It doesn't control me. I control it. Bills are paid. There's food on the table. And yet, you cannot let me work in the way that I want to. When will you give me peace when I need it, Sydney? You don't even drink. I'm stressed. I'm just trying to get ready. Ready? You're always ready. And how do I look? Like you haven't taken a break? Uh, there's something about the burn of a higher proof that is somewhat healing. Healing. Heavenly. Horrific. 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 Honest. Hellish. Joaquin. I never met someone who made honesty look so hellish. My mother was honest in her work. My mother loved those kids more than she loved me sometimes. She would sit at the kitchen table for hours. Correcting papers, making house calls, even making house visits. She had to do what she had to do. Put food on the table! You know, I used to get in trouble with all the other teachers at school, knowing damn well they would kick me out and send me to her class. I would sit in the back, hoping to get the same attention as all those other kids. Because I knew that when she and I went home that night, she'd be bringing them with her. Even if it was just us and I didn't know you felt that way about your mother. I ain't either. Where's my journal? Oh, God. You took it, didn't you? I saw it, and I looked through it. You took it, and I didn't you took it, I saw. you took it. I know you, you took it, you took it, the... you took it. You need to calm down. Prisons, pierce peace, pillaging people postpartum. Prisons, pierce peace, pillaging people what postpartum. What does that mean? Prisons, pierce peace, prison, pierce peace, pillaging people postpartum. Who is it? I you didn't took take it. it. You took it. I know I you took it. You took I it. Didn't you take took it. it. Prisons, pierce peace, pillaging people postpartum. Prisons, pierce peace, pillaging people postpartum. What is wrong? What is going on? Prisons, pierce peace, pillaging people postpartum. All oh, because Sydney doesn't ever feel good.
My father used to bring work home too, you know? He was an amateur boxer. A boxer. A boxer. Boxed in. Boxing back. Bringing battles from outside of the ring and into our home. My father was an amateur boxer. Before he became a mailman, he was a boxer. Fighting for so long, fox with the head, you know? And after a while, he box us. Your father used to beat you and your mother? You don't have to be like that. He became a drunk at one point. With this, I try to remember a routine within which he would participate in my beach. It was godly. Routine. Ritualistic. To a degree. All the greats pulled from the past. Am I wrong for trying to do the same? Dear. But it's breaking us apart. Don't you see that? Like sometimes it's hard to remember who you even are. The real you. Why don't you just forget about me? <laughs> forget about me. Forget about, forget about us. Forget about this house. Forget that any of this ever happened. Just don't let your method break us. You can't break us already been broken. I work. We don't. I'm not really sure how I let my methods get the best of me. Get in the way of my normal life. I, I, I just need to... It's like a drug. An, an addiction, you know? Even if it's just... I cannot wait until the day when I finally get a chance to break. To break. There will be no need for coffee, but menthol, draped in the afterglow of naps with no reason to get out of bed or unrest. I need this break because there will be waffles. Not to be confused with pancakes, I will turn off my phone and instantly be by an ocean with a drink and a sunset and someone to share all of this cliche with. In fourth grade, I learned that sleep was the cousin of death. 
what's dying if we spend most of our lives doing it and i still haven't slept in days now but i know i got a break coming some solace within solitude but remaining around all the people who bring comfort at the same time they once used to make us work for several days at a time with poor food no showers and no sleep what happens to a life when they endure this without breaks does it take one anyway in seventh grade instead of history i learned that real niggas don't cry we do not have time for your tears black man your self-investment is starving but your family is hungry you break when you die. Who is you anyway? Where do they count in all these sheep? How come they are never heard? I still got an A in history because life is fucked up like that. In first grade, my favorite period was nap time, but they told me this wasn't for people in this class. From then, I knew to never expect rest when I most needed it. Ain't it funny how things haven't changed in 20 years or a few hundred? Or am I just a crazy black guy who's always talking about race or his oppression like they're connected, always talking about how they feel like a revolution one week and fit for a casket immediately after always talking about how he's never supposed to be tired but always restless how we learn to never be caught with press on their mouths and sleep in their eyes cause ain't that nigga crazy that nigga crazy nigga crazy nigga crazy we sleep when they tell us to when they need us to when they want us to who's we anyway when will I get a break lord when when will I get a break you told me this break was close when my body is a stale cookie in my pocket I give a piece of it away by accident when I pay too much attention to anyone but myself. They told me that there would never be time for this break. It could not fit in between social justice and self-care, between the world and me, but it's coming. I feel it's freedom behind Thursday, just out of harm's way and arm's reach. I see you break, hiding with the Hennessy and potential addiction, carefree, innocent and every bit as more dangerous. One day I'll decide what you mean to me, or maybe you'll do it for me.